Welcome back to the 25 Days of Christmas. My name is Shane Reinert, and Christmas is almost here. Are you ready yet? Yesterday, while I was attending a morning mass at St. Xavier's Church, a 60-year-old woman came in and suddenly caused quite a disturbance. Standing at the door with two photographs in her hand, she tried to speak over the sounds of the choir. Though everybody near tried to tell her to leave the church, she stayed at the church doors. I symbolically motioned for her to wait until the end of the Mass. I thought she understood me, but when I went up to the altar to receive Holy Communion, the woman came up behind me and disturbed the priest with her photographs. All the people near her, including me, judged this woman to be mentally retarded. So I took her by the arm and escorted her outside where I questioned her to find out why she was disturbing our church service. She again showed me the two photographs. She explained that she was part of a group who had traveled 250 kilometers to search for the boy in the photographs. Apparently, the woman was Hindi and did not know the procedures of our religion, which is why she had entered the church to ask the priest to make an announcement asking if any of the congregation had seen the boy. This boy, who happened to be the woman's mentally retarded son. Upon seeing the photographs, I immediately recognized the boy because I had seen him two days earlier on my way to the college where I am vice principal. At the time, he was dirty and his clothes were in very bad shape. Anyway, I gave the woman my cell phone number and told her where I last saw the boy as well as some clues that I hoped would help her find her son. Later that afternoon, I received a call from the woman telling me they found her son, bathed him, and dressed him in new clothes and were finally taking him home. Though her son had no practical purpose in her life, he could not do much, he could not earn money, etc. She still needed him. The boy did not have much mental capacity to understand the salvation his mother brought him, nor could he understand the salvation that he brought her. Still, she loved him so much that she searched for an entire month to find him. She showed the deep love that only a parent usually knows. Just as I had initially believed the woman was mentally retarded, I realized that this experience that I had not yet fully understood God's true nature either. My perceptions are forever changed. I now understand the unconditional love that God has for me. Just like that affectionate mother who came to search for her son, I realize it does not matter who I am. It does not matter where I am. It does not matter if I believe in God or not whether I understand God. It does not matter if I am grateful to God or not. God just loves me because I exist. Keep coming back. we got one more day coming on the 25 Days of Christmas. I'm Shane Reinert.